This video reviews converting recurring decimals into fractions, and I think this is a lovely bit of maths, this. Now, the trick here, in my view, is to write out the decimal longhand to start off with. So 0.28 reoccurring, the dot is just above the 8, which means our number is 0.2 with a string of 8s after it, which of course never end. We now do a couple of really, really, really important steps. Now I'm going to call this number x. Now, step one, I times this number by enough tens to get the circled recurring bit just next to the decimal point. I want to move it it's just one place to get it next to the point. So if I do 10 lots of x, I get 2.888 and again this number goes on forever. So again I circled the recurring part and times by enough tens to get that just to the right of the decimal point. And there it is, look. Above that, I then times by enough tens to get it beyond the point. So not just one place, but two places. So if I do 100x, I end up with not 2.8, but 28.888. And again, there we are, the circled recurring bit has got beyond the point. Now what's special here is that after the point, all the 8s line up. So if I now do a subtraction, then 28 take away 2 just equals 26. But all of the 8s after the point will just cancel off. And all I'm left with is 100x take away 10x, which is just 90x. So 90x just equals 26. So to find out what x equals as a fraction, I do x equals 26 over 90, which cancels down further to 13 over 45. Now just to compare this to another style question, I'm going to write down another decimal on another page. And this decimal will be 0.432. And we'll talk through for this slightly more complex decimal, but the method still works. So, my advice was to write out the decimal longhand and to call it x. So, 0.4, the 3 and the 2 now are recurring. And I circled the recurring part. And I said that step one is to times by enough tens to get the circle just next to the point. Well, this is still just 10x, because the 4 will shift along, as will the circle bit by one place. So 4. 0.32, 0.32, and so on and so forth. Then my second step was to times by enough tens to get the entire circle bit beyond the point. So I've got to shift one, two, three numbers to the left of the point. So it's not 10x, it's not 100x, it's actually 1000x. If I times by a thousand, one, two, three numbers will shift to the left of the point. So I get 432.323232. And there is my circled recurring bit to the left of the point. Now, as before, if I now subtract, all the numbers at the point will cancel out. So 432 take away 4 is 
428, and 1,000 take away 10 is 990x in this case. So, my number x just equals 428 over 990, which is 214 all over 400 and 90.